Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Barber Dave's Barber Shop at Home. We're here for another shave. And yes, we are on day three of our self-imposed purgatory uh, in the Williams Challenge. Same setup, the Gin Sling Willie, as we have here, which is not showing any signs of giving up anytime soon. We'll be using the Feather ASD2 with a Feather Blade, and I think this is five shaves on the blade but uh, day three of the one blade challenge and then um, of course the gents gin aftershave and the penhaligans there it is the penhaligans juniper sling shave soap now for those of you that are just joining at the tsc and our uh, sadomasochistic coordinator of this event Spider, aka KJ, aka the Vez 2. Um, we are doing the Williams one, the Williams challenge, which means that you take Williams and you grate a puck of Williams and you infuse it with an aftershave or an EDT or both of your choice. Now, once you grate it up, you pull it in a cup, usually two ounces or until it just sits over the top of the uh of the uh soap and let it evaporate usually takes a week or two stir it up every day and then uh usually about a week down the road a week a week and a half down the road it'll be ready to uh, shave with because you want the alcohols to leach out because otherwise it could burn somebody had asked about how to get that much scent out of it and just make sure you flood the grated puck for where it's just, you know, just a little bit sitting over the top or two ounces, whatever you prefer, and then you can adjust accordingly. So yes, I decided to do this and I am already bored and it's only day three. So I'm sure there are bets being taken on whether I'll make it, which is probably a fairly uh, a good thing. As I said, there is, uh, I mean, Four or five shaves on on this specific blade. Somebody else had also commented about the ASD2 about not getting a close shave. Well, it is a very, very mild razor. So if you're used to a more aggressive razor, you may have to do another pass or you may have to do a little bit more cleanup. Uh, but if you're looking to make it aggressive, um, I would suggest putting in a Voskhod blade or a more aggressive blade other than the feather. I mean, we the feather blade is very, very sharp, but it is also designed in this razor to be, you know, mild, but efficient. So if you want a more blade feel, a more aggressive shave, then I would suggest either a Persona or a uh, Voskhod. Even a Paul Silver or a Nasset. Because some of those blades have a little bit better blade exposure uh, as far as the edge. Their, their machine bevel set is a little bit different. What else is going on? Well, here in the high desert southwest, we are experiencing some weird stuff. Um, this time last week, we were in the 20s and with the threat of snow in many parts of the southwest including tucson received about an inch of snow and today we're breaking records we're going to be in the uh, high 70s but we're flirting with breaking the 80 degree mark today so a little bit of everything now one thing uh going back to the razor and this has been said numerous times 
The ASD2 is a no-brainer shave. That's the one beauty about it. You do not have to concentrate. You can literally just shave and go. And although the feather blade in this razor, while it's in this razor, I should say, may not be as aggressive, it is super efficient. So yes, it may require a little bit more cleanup or a second pass if you're really looking for that close BBS shave. However, I've overcome that with just a little bit of, a little bit more pressure with this blade and it gives just a smooth uh, BBS shave. Okay, pass number three. As I said, I can't understand how people cannot get a decent leather out of Williams. Um, as you can see, there's tons of it left. But I have found, at least for me, that either a bore or a synthetic gives me the best consistency of lather. I would consider trying it with a bore but I've committed to myself of this self-induced purgatory of using one setup for the entire, the entire month. So unfortunately that won't happen. And again, the Williams soap is so slick. You match that with the efficiency of the feather, and it's just a purely enjoyable shave all the way around. Even if you're shaving with the same stuff for a month or longer. Oh, the humanity. The only thing that scares me is my other razors and my other shaving soaps and the aftershaves and everything else may stage a revolution or an invention or intervention, I should say. Okay, again, it's, like I said, it's not, it, it, it'll give you a close to a BBS shave right out of the gate, but it does require a little bit of cleanup for me to get it exactly where I want. But the beauty of the Williams soap is that you can do it with water only. Um, as I said, I think there's about five shaves on this blade. And right now there is no, in fact, it's settled in nicely and uh, just as sharp, just as efficient. See the tail of the alum. Zero burn, zero sting. It's a great shave.
the one beauty about doing this Williams challenge is that if you are having difficulty with the soap, even, even with it infused, um, you really get to know the soap. Gents, Jen. The neat thing about layering the Gents Gin and the Juniper Sling is the Gents Gin has got a very lemony, limey, you know, almost a 7-up without the sweetness uh, effervescence. I mean, you can almost feel like there's some effervescence in this. And then when you top that with the Juniper Sling, which is more of a Juniper Forward, almost a um, Gimlet or Gin and Tonic type uh type vibe uh, it really matches where there's a little bit more sweetness in the uh, juniper sling and it does uh, pack the longevity a little bit longer for the penhaligans because as we all know uh, citrus based scents can fade away pretty quick using boro talc talc again as i will be for the entire month. And then once again, the Juniper Sling. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a sweeter note, but more of a, uh, a gin feel to it. So it really complements the uh, Jen's Gin. Okay, folks, that's it. Thanks for joining us here at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home for day number three of our purgatory into the Gin Sling Willie or Williams Challenge. Come on and visit us at The Shaving Cadre. That's www.theshavingcadre.com. We hope everybody has a wonderful week, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.